Hey guys, I want to come to you and talk to you very candidly about you starting something. Sometimes we just got to take the plunge, man. Take that first step. Don't go anywhere. I know you're about to turn. Don't go. Stay with me. All right, if we don't know each other, my name is Matt. I own Stafford Senior Solutions, which is a referral agency in Central California. And I also am the owner of the Senior Home Business. Dot com. That's where you should be heading right now to get your free training material, but we're going to get into a little bit about why you're not doing what you want to do and some obstacles that are in your way from taking that plunge. Stay with me. Okay, let's get to the three obstacles that are preventing you from fulfilling your destiny. What are they? See, in your life, you can either have reasons to do something or excuses. I want to hit those excuses and three reasons why you make up these excuses. How do I know? I made up every single one of them in my life. It helped justifying where I was at. It helped justifying why I wasn't pursuing what I needed to go after. The first one is money. That's going to hold you back every single time. You're going to say at the end of your work week, I don't have enough money. I got to pay my electric bill, car payment, whatever it is. I just don't have enough, man. If I only had an extra thousand dollars, if I only had an extra 10 grand, whatever the amount is, it doesn't matter. You can put any amount of money in that blank and it wouldn't do anything. It can be $5. I've seen people walk away from opportunities that cost next to nothing, but because it costs anything, they weren't willing to sacrifice, and that's what money does. You're attached to it, which we should be, right? You should love what you make, but you know what? You should want to fulfill your destiny and make more. And if you're going to do that, you have to release some of that money somewhere else. Plant some seeds, man. Get something else growing over here so you can get out of that nine to five. Get out of that junk that you're in right now. I say junk because I'm thinking about my life, man. When I was in that junk of a car, one bedroom apartment, you want to get out of that too got to sow some seed, plant some money. Don't allow money to be an obstacle. If you do, you will never pursue your dreams. The second obstacle is in your mind, you say, this won't work. I've seen thousands. I've seen all kinds of opportunities that are out there. Everybody presents an opportunity. Yeah, it works for them for a little bit. Come back to me about a year and let me see if it's still working. It's just this whole being skeptical, you know, this whole negative attitude. You've got to get away from that. If you're going to grow, you got to, you can't be negative. If you are, you're never going to fulfill what you're intending to do in your life. I'm just being completely honest with you. Until you release the negativity and get over into being a positive person, getting over into a right mindset about life, being excited about what you want to do, you'll never fulfill it. You've got to get rid of the it won't work mentality. You know, there are some things that may not work and there may be some plenty of scams that are out there and plenty of things that are just not meant to be for you and that's okay, but don't have that approach. Look at it and say, does this generally fit who I am? If it does, and it is, pursue it. The third obstacle is plain and simple. You're not gonna wanna admit this, but it's true, it's fear. Fear has gripped your heart. It gripped mine. I would never admit that to anyone sitting in my one bedroom apartment out there on my grill flipping some hot dogs. I'm not fearful. I was afraid. I was afraid to take that step. Because what you're doing is you're taking a, a step into the unknown. You're going places you've never been before. You're going maybe without a map. And that's what we did in our business, in the senior referral business. I was, I'm basically going without a map. I'm pioneering some things. And that's kind of scary when you're trailblazing and making your own way, right? But fear, when it grips your heart, it immobilizes you. You don't go anywhere. You sit tight. You hang on to your bank account. You hang on to your excuses. You hang on to all the reasons why you should not do it. And it's fear. And when you release fear, you'll begin to fulfill your destiny. You'll begin to do the things you want to do. You'll become unstoppable. And that's some of the couple things I've learned over the last couple of years is, man, when I don't worry about money, how much is going to cost me? When I don't have a negative attitude and don't have this it won't work mentality and when I don't have fear gripping my heart and I allow faith to rise up and I allow myself to go, you know what, I can accomplish anything with that kind of spirit, unstoppable. You can do the exact same thing.